In this video, we're going to focus on calculating the volume, the lateral area, and the total surface area of a hexagonal prism. Let me draw a picture first. So here we have a simple hexagonal prism. And let's say the side lengths are 20, and it's a regular hexagon. So all the sides are congruent. Now let's say from the center to one of the sides, this is 10 square root 3. And the unit for everything is in inches. And let's say the height of the prism is 12 inches. So with this information, calculate the volume of the prism. The volume is the area of the base multiplied by the height of the prism. Now we have the height all we need to calculate is the area of the base. So what is the area of the hexagon? How can we calculate it? The area of the hexagon is 1 half AP, where A is the apothem, P is the perimeter. The perimeter is simply N times the side length. So a hexagon has six sides, and each of these six sides, they're all equal to each other. So n is 6. And the side length of each of those sides is 20. So the perimeter is 6 times 20, or 120 inches. The apothem is 10 square root 3. So now we can calculate the area of the base. So it's 1 half of the apothem times the perimeter. Half of 10 is 5. And 5 times 120 is 620. So the area of the base is 600. If I said 620, I meant 600. 5 times 120 is 600. So it's 600 square root 3. And so that's the area of the hexagon. So now we can calculate the volume of the prism. So it's the area of the base, which is 600 square root 3 times the height of the prism, which is 12 inches. Six hundred times twelve is seventy two hundred. So the volume is going to be seventy two hundred square root three cubic inches. Next, let's calculate the lateral area. The lateral area is going to be the perimeter of the hexagon multiplied by the height. So we know the perimeter, we said it was one hundred twenty, that is six times twenty, and the height is 12. So the lateral area is the area of all six faces. So the area of just one face is going to be the height times the side length. So this part is 20 and this part is 12 and it's not drawn to scale. But 20 times 12 that's going to be 240 and then you multiply by 6 because there's six faces and so the lateral area is 1440. 120 times 12 will also give you 1440. And so that's the lateral area for the hexagonal prism. It's 1440 square inches. So now we can calculate the total surface area. And so that's going to be the area of the base plus the lateral area. Now keep in mind, you have to use the top base and also the one on the bottom. Which is here. So basically we need to multiply this number by 2. So the total area of the base is going to be 2 times 600 multiplied by the square root of 3 and the lateral area is 1440. So the exact answer is going to be 1,200 square root 3 plus 1,440. Now the decimal equivalent of the answer is approximately 3,518 cubic, I mean not cubic, but square inches for the total surface area of this hexagonal prism. Let's work on another example. 
So we're going to have a similar type of shape. But the only difference is you won't be given the apothem in this example. So let's say you're only given the side length, which is 30 inches, and also the height of the prism, which we're going to say is 50 inches. With this information alone, go ahead and calculate the volume, the lateral area, and the surface area. So let's start with the volume. So first, we need to calculate the apothem, which will help us to calculate the area of the base. So this is the apothem. Now, 30, we're going to call it S. So this whole thing here is S. Now let's make a right triangle. This is going to be R. So for that right triangle, this is the radius, this is the apothem, and this is S divided by 2, which is half of S. And we're going to call this theta. Now, what is the value of theta for a hexagon? So starting from the center, we can split the hexagon into six pieces. Now we know that a full circle is 360. So 360 divided by 6 would mean that this angle is 60. And now if we make a right triangle, that means this angle has to be 30 now. So theta is 30. A quick way to get theta is to take 360 and divide it by 2n where n is the number of sides. So for a hexagon, n is 6. 2 times 6 is 12, and 360 divided by 12 will give you an angle of 30 degrees. So that's a quick way to find theta, if you just want to use a formula. So now that we know this is 30 and this is 60, so now we can figure out some things. Let's go over the 30, 60, 90 triangle. If the hypotenuse is 2, across the 30 is going to be half of the hypotenuse, so this side is going to be 1. The side across the 60 degree angle is going to be whatever this number is times the square root of 3. So in this example, if s is 30, that means that s divided by 2, which is this part of the triangle, is 30 divided by 2, or 15. So we know the hypotenuse has to be twice of the value across the 30 degree angle. So the hypotenuse is 30. Now the side across the 60 degree angle is going to be whatever this is times the square root of 3. And so that's how we can calculate the apothem using the side length. So now that we know that the apothem is 15 square root 3, we can calculate the area of the base. So the perimeter is going to be ns. So we have a six-sided figure, and s is 30. So the perimeter is 180 inches. The area of the base is 1 half of the apothem times the perimeter. So it's 1 half times 15 square root 3 times 180. So half of 180 is 90, and 90 times 15 is 1350. So the area is 1350 square root 3. So now we can calculate the volume. So it's base times height. So the area of the base is 1350 square root 3, and the height is 50 inches. So 1350 times 50, that's going to be 67,500, and then times the square root of 3. So that's the volume for this particular hexagonal prism. So now let's calculate the lateral area. The lateral area is simply the perimeter times the height. The perimeter, we can see that it's 180, and the height is 50. So this comes out to be 9,000. 9,000 square inches. Now, let's calculate the total surface area. So that's going to be the area of the base plus the lateral area. Now, we have the area of the base. However, we need to multiply by 2 because we have the top part of the base and the bottom part of the base. 
So this is going to be 2 times 1350 square root 3. And then the lateral area is 9,000. So the final answer for the surface area is going to be 2,700 square root 3 plus 9,000 square inches. And so that's it. Now as a decimal, this comes out to be approximately 13,676.5 square inches. And so that's it for this video. Now you know how to calculate the lateral area, surface area, and the volume of a hexagonal prism.